she was the subject of teenage lust in Quadrophenia. Adult lust in men behaving badly. And she's still inspiring uniform fantasies today as Inspector Charlie Eden in Mersey Beat. Please welcome Leslie Ash. <laughs> I'm fab, love. I'm even fabber after going to your club last week, which is probably why my throat's like this, because I was having fun. With, well, now you're blonde. And now I'm blonde. Yeah. Do you know, isn't it funny, because I'm an Aquarian, you're an Aquarian, and we've both gone through transformation. I've gone blonde. You've done your lips. Yeah, we could be twins. We could be twins, totally. Yeah. Why did you do your lips? Um, I think, to, to be absolutely honest, without harping on for too long about it. We're not going to go yeah, on about it. Much. I used to smoke quite a lot, and oh, the, yeah. as I was getting older, I noticed that I had these little lines here, and I just thought, well, someone told me, you know, you can have some injections and it just plumps it out. But my body rejected it. Oh, and see, no I was also injected with something that really shouldn't have injected, which doesn't break down like collagen oh, or something like that. So, um, but anyway, it. it my fault. I hold my hands up. I did something wrong, but oh, well, um, darling, you were all it's going. Break, it's going. Don't you think it's going? Yes. Oh, darling, I think let's put it like. Who this. will they write about next? You, I suppose. The no, I've been hair. done. I've had the blonde. <laughs> Can't be the cheeky girls. They've been done. Yeah. Maybe it's you and I together oh, as we're going through transformation. You know, Leslie. Another thing I want to know is why you spell your name like a man. Well, my mother was Canadian, and in Canada they spell. It that way. It Les Leslie, Leslie Caron was L L E S L I. Oh, gosh, really? Mm. The, that's the well, one thing I really wanted to ask. Now let's get on with it with you because you've been doing so much. Mercy B, do you speak with a scarce accent in that? Um, no, it's it's um, actually we we finished the the, um, the, the last series, um, but no, I don't. I managed to be able to keep my London accent. I I always do, even where the heart is. I managed to keep my London accent. What do you fancy doing next? Oh, I really fancy doing a film. Um, you know, it, it's a shame actually because you know they've had all this problem with the legislation now. You're not allowed to, you know, get tax benefit on on, yeah. on film. So I think it, we're going to suffer a bit in this country. The British film industry, I think, will suffer because we've only just got people, you know, backing films again, and we've just getting there. I can't believe what's happened. Well, there's one furore after another. It's VAT on theatre seats, uh -huh. and then it's films mm. and all those other things. What about theatre? Yeah, I'd like to do a bit of theatre. There's talks of me perhaps going up to do a bit in the Edinburgh Festival on a one-woman show. Um, but I've got to get my nerves together for that because it's been a long time since I've been on the stage. The last one was a pyjama game. Um, did you go? Did you play oh, the Doris Day part? I did. It's a fabulous show, isn't I it? I loved it. I loved it. I, I actually conquered my nerves to do that. It was good. Well, astrologically, darling, you're an Aquarian, like what I am. Scorpio Moon. Sexy, oh. very sexy. In fact, so sexy that people will look at you and think, God, she's sexy, but won't be able to define it. Because you're like, I said when I first came on, you're like a nymphette. You're like one of those elusive creatures to people that they want to have and hold, but you're out of their arms as quickly as you jumped into them. Sagittarius rising like your old man is a Sagittarian. He is. Lee Chapman, I saw him last week because we both said, turn around, let's have a look at your butt, didn't we? Saggy bum. Uh, we did, and we both decided it was... Not saggy, saggy. No, saggy, a very <laughs> saggy bum. Um, teatro, why do you do that? Just fence it? Well, it was my husband's thing, really, because he'd been a professional footballer. Um, he'd always been interested in food, and he's, he collects wine. Um, and it was the time when a member's bar would be great. You know, you had a few member's bar in Soho. And, and we thought, well, why not? We, we could have it all under one roof, a restaurant for the public and a, and a member's bar. And so we opened one up. And the club, everyone, is called Teatro. And it's just behind that's, us That's here. the member's bar. And now we've oh, changed the, the restaurant one, into, a, into a club, you know, where people can go and dance. Oh, that's, that's why I did the feng shuiing. That's called Souk Soho now. Souk Soho. Because mm. there used to be a very small dance and drama agency in East Coast, in Middlesex, called Teatro. Oh, really? And it's nothing to do with that. I know it's not. No. I was being devilish. Okay. 
which will soon lead us to our next item. I must just, I must just say, though, with the astrologicals that you've got coming up, I'm so glad that you, honey, want to do something different because I forgot during Codrophenia, which my uncle John Peveril worked on. You saw him last week. I saw him last week in, at Pinewood, and I didn't have the guts to go up and say hello to him, which is really stupid. But I was doing the um, old home base commercials there with Neil oh, Morrison. God, you do so many of those, don't you? Yeah, drive everyone are they, mad. Are you gonna, yeah, but not as mad as Linda Barker does. <laughs> I mean, you've got a nice voice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> snip, snip. But it, it works, doesn't it? Oh, gosh, of course it does, because I bet everyone's going after, after you both now, saying, can you put a shelf up? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm Aries. What do you think, Russ? Um, but astrologically, because of the very late degree of your sun in Aquarius, but also your moon in Scorpio, with the astrologicals you've got coming, the next seven years are going to be very interesting. And you're actually starting a new seven-year cycle. Oh. And you start it just before Christmas. So anything that takes you back to something you really want to do, then this is the time to really do it. And not only will you get pleasure, but you're actually going to get a lot of praise and applause and plaudits too. Mm. So maybe Edinburgh is not out of the way. Leslie Ash, everyone. <laughs> it's game time. Yeah. We know all about Leslie's days in men behaving badly, but is she a woman behaving badly? We've come up with three questions for you to find out. That's for you to find out, Leslie, <laughs> if you're a diplomatic Libra. Uh, and, oh, there's some stuff on there which I can't understand. Anyway. <laughs> If you're a Libra, see if you're diplomatic, or whether you've got that old devil moon in Scorpio coming out, or indeed if anything else is protruding. So let's see what we've got. Question one. You go... Is, is that there, darling? Oh, they're on the card. Thanks. Irene Pappas is working for us now. Question one. Your husband, Lee Chapman, buys a hideous shirt that makes you feel sick. He keeps wearing it on special occasions and you're terribly embarrassed. Do you, A... Tell him that you will iron it for him, then burn a big hole in it on purpose and pretend it was an accident. Do you, B, put bite your tongue and put up with the shirt? You love him after all. C, buy him another shirt and suggest tactfully that the colour suits him better. C. Buy him another shirt and suggest tactfully that the colour suits him better. Diplomat. Are you ready now? For the next question, number two. You're at your club theatre when a famous, well-endowed female celebrity guest has a little bit too much to drink. She's aggressive, displaying more flesh than is appropriate. She takes the jungle weed out of her hair and upsets all the other guests. What do you do? Do you, A, discreetly draw her aside and suggest that till she goes home, offering complimentary drinks on the house for their next visit? B, Grit your teeth, <laughs> smile, send over another round of drinks, avoid a nasty scene. See? Tip up the tip off the paparazzi. That'll teach you to mess around in your joint. Oh, um hmm. See. Good girl. Yay! You see, they want you to be like that. Yes. Um A. Oh no, I was about to read you the questions. Answers. Uh three. <laughs> Gosh, you're this little print and I've not got me glasses. No. You go for an audition. <laughs> <laughs> like wacko, innit? Uh, you go for an audition for a Hollywood film role you desperately want and you're upset when you notice that your rival is wearing the same dress. You have nothing else to wear but she seems to have a suitcase of clothes. Do you A, lock her in the toilet, have your audition and then leave? B, just leave. You don't want to embarrass yourself. C, ask her politely if she wouldn't mind wearing of her 101 different outfits, as she's so many. I think I call the paparazzi. No. <laughs> yes. Yes, I would. C. C. Sit on that fence. Oh, darling, you're a diplomat. I so want you to be nasty, like yeah. me. Um, but anyway, I'm so thrilled. So, Leslie Ash, I think we proved that you're a woman behaving diplomatically. <laughs> That's why she's always in work. God bless, babe. Cheers. And I'll be round soon with my compass to Feng Shui Lee's shirt.